Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Gregor Gillespie versus Brad Riddell. So um, Gillespie's been out for a minute ever since Kevin Lee knocked him into the next year or two years. What was that? In 2019. So he hasn't fought in a while. First, he was coming for all the steam and looking like this guy that might be able to do this and might be able to do that with a two-time or three-time NCAA champion. So oh, maybe this guy could be a good matchup for Khabib, potentially. It would be keep evolving. But then... Kevin Lee had other plans and sent him into the next next two years. But how I see this um, fight versus Gillespie versus Brad Riddell. So Brad Riddell has been impressing me a lot. He comes from that kick, I mean, city kickboxing gym along with Adesanya and Volkanovski and Kai Car France and et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of them, like, they might be wrestlers, but their wrestling game or at least their wrestling defense really starts to, you know, they, they kick it up a notch. Right? It really gets up to the level. And you know, they can look real solid and they look real good in these grappling situations, just enough to get on the feet where they really shine. Or even sometimes they go away from and they actually have real good success with their grappling. And Riddell's one of the ones that I see him offensively using his wrestling a lot of times. And he looks pretty solid with it. But um, definitely nowhere near, I mean, definitely, yeah, definitely nowhere near where Gillespie's wrestling is. And definitely hasn't fought a wrestler at the, at the caliber of Gillespie, not even half the caliber of Gillespie. So it's going to be a different story. And for, um, Riddell, this could be a good fight for him. He can stuff the takedowns enough and keep it on the feet. Then it opens up for him. But Gillespie isn't one of those wrestlers that like take you down or attempts two or three takedowns and is done or attempts to take down around. Gillespie's a, a wrestler that's gonna be on you relentlessly. He's not he gonna go for thirty takedowns if he needs to, just to score one or to score two or score three. And his accuracy is pretty high anyway, so he score probably go for thirty takedowns and get twenty. Even though it hasn't been done yet by him, I know it's within his ability to do that. And that's going to be an issue for Riddell. Riddell, like I said, his wrestling and scramble ability is pretty solid, but he has been taken down and has been controlled for a lot, you know, significant amount of portions of time by wrestlers and grapplers who aren't on the wrestling caliber of Gillespie. So I know he's going to be training for him specifically. And, oh, we can say those other guys striking are better than, striking is better, are are better. <laughs> I don't know if I'm using the right word, but better than what Gillespie could bring on the feet. But Gillespie isn't no slouch on the feet. He just got caught. I mean, let me say he's not caught. Kevin Lee set him up well, but. It's a, it's a situation, it was a, just a nice setup by Kevin Lee. It was a, a, a lack of striking acumen or by Gillespie. It was just a nice setup by Kevin Lee. That's all. Yeah, it happens. It's not like he was a striker naturally, but and also Burdell, higher level striker, much higher level striker than Kevin Lee, but I think it would come down to the fact that, let me not even go over there, but obviously Kevin Lee is much better wrestling than Riddell, I, yeah, than Riddell is, but I just see, what I was going with that before is that we seen Riddell controlled by people who are grapplers and wrestlers and fighters who are nowhere near the level caliber of wrestlers or grapplers that Gillespie is. And I think Gillespie's going to be able to get a lot of control time. I feel like um, Riddell will have some moments, slim moments in there where he will be able to defend and take down and land some shots, but not flush enough. And then Gillespie will get back to his wrestling game and just be relentless on break him down. You might defend one or two, three takedowns, but when you start getting multiple, multiple shots, re-shots, and there's it's no end to it, you're going to start to break down. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to crack um, Riddell, but I do think he starts to break him down and Riddell starts to, you know, sit, you know, not get flattened out there in a way. Not where, you know, you, you're not letting allow yourself to get flat. You keep springing back up and you get taken down, but in case where you get taken down and now your back is flat and now Gillespie is able to control you, tr try to work on transition, work on ground and pound and hold you there for a moment. And that's gonna get to that point. It's gonna get to the point where maybe where Riddell just gives up and just and Gillespie just passes his guard like butter and then taps him out or anything or just gets his back flat him out and TKO him. But the case of where he's gonna get him to, you know, have to stop, you know, give up the fight some and try to regain himself before he can try to slow back to his feet or work on his neck move instead of just trying to spring back to his feet because eventually Gillespie's pressure and wrestling is gonna wear him down. So in this fight, I got Gregor Gillespie via decision.